This video explains the procedure for creating custom certificate templates. A certificate template is a Jasper file produced by compiling a JRXML file. Creation and compilation of JRXML files are performed using Jasper report software. We will refer to both JRXML and Jasper documents as templates. First, we have to install the right software. We will use TIBCO Jaspersoft Studio for creating Jasper files. It is a standalone software that offers the same environment as the Eclipse plugin Jaspersoft Studio. Click the download button and wait for it to install. When creating a desired template, you can start from an entirely new Jasper report by selecting File, New, Jasper Report. However, you test me provides two default templates, namely default template landscape JRXML and default template portrait JRXML, which you can edit. Here we will assume that you have chosen the second option. Start by importing the default templates into your project in Jaspersoft Studio. Choose the folder where you store the default templates. Now you can change the properties of the existing elements, such as images and text fields, and remove them or add new elements. We will explain one of the default templates in more detail, and then walk through creating a custom template. Let's look at the default template landscape JRXML. The figure below shows that the template elements are placed in a detail band, and when the export certificate on the top of the outline window is clicked, we can see the properties of the entire report on the right. By clicking the Edit Page Format button, a dialog appears where you can modify page size, orientation, margins, etc. After this operation, ensure the language property is set to Java. The detail band height is equal to the page height. We will look more closely at the image used as the template background. The analysis can be applied to other images as well. The background image should equal the page size, like occupying the whole detail band. Click the corresponding image element in the detail band to see the element's physical properties. Under the image tab, there are two essential properties. The first one is expression, where you can choose whether to import the image for this image element from the file system or to enable importing it in the application. This will be explained later with an example. The second property is scale image, which specifies how the imported image will be scaled in the template. The three most important options are fill frame, where the image will occupy the whole image element size, regardless of its aspect ratio. Retain shape, where the picture will stretch to fit one dimension and leave blank space in another dimension if its aspect ratio does not match the aspect ratio of the image element. And real size, where the image retains its actual size in pixels. Now we will go through an example. We want the image below to be the background image in the default template landscape JRXML. First, we import the image from the file system into the template to place other elements at desired positions concerning the background. The steps are shown in the figure below. We are changing the properties of the image element representing the background image in the template. Since the scale image property is set to fill frame, the imported image will scale to fit the image element size. If you do not need to preserve the image aspect ratio, importing the background image is finished here. The next step is to place other elements at appropriate positions, change their properties, remove some elements, add new elements, etc. Now we reset the expression of the image background element using the corresponding field, so it can be imported into the template when creating a certificate in the application. After saving and compiling the default landscape JRXML, you get the default template landscape Jasper file, which you can use to create a new certificate. In step one, you upload the default template landscape Jasper file to be used as the template for the certificate is created. In step two, you upload the image you want to use as a background, in this case, original background image. Here is what the preview looks like. 